It's one of those eerie things people like to whisper about, that after we die, our hair and fingernails keep growing. You've probably heard it in old movies, ghost stories, or from that one friend who swears it's true because they read it somewhere. It paints a haunting image, the idea that even after death, tiny parts of us keep stretching out, slowly turning us into something otherworldly. But how much truth is there to this claim? Do fingernails really continue to grow after we pass on? Or is this just one of those long-standing myths that refuses to die? Today, we're peeling back the layers of this morbid mystery and finding out what really happens to our bodies once life stops ticking. Right here on History of Simple Things. The belief that fingernails and hair continue to grow after death has been around for centuries. Before modern science and embalming practices, people who saw bodies after a few days might have noticed what looked like longer nails and thicker beards. Without understanding what happens to skin after death, it was easy to assume that growth was continuing. In early burial traditions, especially when bodies weren't immediately interred, Loved ones might have observed these changes and thought life still flickered in some small, unsettling way. Over time, this eerie visual became accepted as fact, passed down through generations as one of those strange truths about death that no one really questioned. When a person dies, the body doesn't just stop. It starts changing rapidly. Within minutes, Cells begin breaking down due to the lack of oxygen, a process called autolysis. Enzymes that once helped us digest food and repair tissues now begin digesting us from the inside out. Blood circulation stops, which means oxygen and nutrients can no longer reach the cells in our hair follicles or nail beds. These cells are responsible for generating new keratin, the tough protein that makes up both hair and nails. Without a constant supply of nutrients, they can't function, and growth comes to a full stop. So scientifically speaking, no, fingernails do not continue to grow after death. Neither does hair. Growth requires living cells, and once those cells die, so does any chance of new length appearing. But if that's true, why do so many people claim to have seen longer nails on the deceased? Here's where it gets fascinating and a little unsettling. While our nails and hair don't continue to grow after death, the body goes through changes that make it look like they do. When a person passes away, moisture in the body begins to evaporate. As the skin dries out, it tightens and retracts, especially around the fingers, toes, and scalp. This makes more of the nail bed and hair shaft visible creating the eerie illusion that they've grown longer. But it's not actual growth. It's a trick of dehydration and decomposition. As bacteria start breaking down tissues, gases form, fluids drain, and the skin loses its elasticity. Around the cuticles and scalp, that shrinking skin can make nails and hair appear sharp or thicker. Long ago, when bodies weren't embalmed or refrigerated, these visual changes were common and unsettling. It's easy to see why early observers believed something strange, or even supernatural, was happening. In truth, what's really going on is purely physical. The body isn't continuing to live or grow. It's simply undergoing natural post-mortem changes. What we mistake for life is just the body quietly returning to nature. So, if science has already debunked this, why do people still believe it? Part of it is cultural storytelling. Death has always been mysterious and a little frightening, so stories that make it feel even stranger tend to stick. Another part is that human perception can easily be fooled. What we see and what's actually happening aren't always the same. Plus, pop culture keeps reinforcing the idea. 
You'll see it mentioned in horror movies, detective shows, and even novels, often as a way to emphasize the eerie nature of death. It's become one of those facts that sounds too creepy not to be true, which helps it survive, even in the age of science. While we're on the topic, it's worth understanding how fingernails actually grow when we're alive. Fingernails are made of keratin, produced by specialized cells at the base of the nail, called the matrix. These cells multiply and harden, pushing older ones forward. That's what forms the visible nail. On average, fingernails grow about 3 millimeters per month, while toenails grow slower, around 1 millimeter per month. Factors like age, nutrition, hormones, and even the season can affect this rate. But once the body stops producing energy and circulation ends, the matrix cells can no longer divide. That's the cutoff point. No blood, no nutrients, no growth. What remains is what you had in life, just slightly altered in appearance as the body dehydrates. So the next time someone insists that fingernails or hair keep growing after death, you can gently tell them it's not quite true. What really happens is far more ordinary, yet still strangely fascinating. As the body loses moisture, the skin shrinks, and the nails and hair simply look longer. It's one of those myths that's been passed down for generations, because it sounds just believable enough to survive. For centuries, without scientific tools to study what happens after death, people trusted what their eyes told them, and sometimes what we see can be very deceiving. In a way, this myth says a lot about us. Even in death, our curiosity never seems to fade. We've always tried to make sense of what comes after, turning natural processes into haunting stories that help us cope with the unknown. And while our nails don't really keep growing once we're gone, the fascination surrounding that idea continues to live on. Maybe that's the most human thing of all, finding wonder, and even a little mystery, in the science of something as simple as fingernails. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.